Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be converting an image into a PDF and using it as a background. I currently have a regular PDF open, and on this PDF, I have an image right here. Let's say I wanted to take this image, turn it into a PDF, and place markups right on top of it. All I need to do is go to the File dropdown and click on Open, or I can click on the Open shortcut right here. Then I can search for the image, but it's not on my list, and that's because I'm currently only searching for PDF files I can tell by this dropdown right here. So if I click on the dropdown and switch to All Images, now I can scroll down and not only see the folders that are in this folder, but only other images and not PDFs. So here's the image that we'd want. Let's click on Open. And now the entire image has been converted to a PDF and a copy has been made of the image. So the original image is still available. And I can tell that this is now a new file because there's a star next to this file. What I'd like to do just in case is I'd like to do a file and then save as I also put the Save As shortcut right up here. And I can call it by a different name, so I can call it Converted, just in case if I want to keep my original image. Now I have a new PDF with a different name, and the image is used as a background, so I can place a markup right on top of it, just like this. And then press the Escape key to complete the markup. On the bottom right of our screen, we can see that our page size is 16 inches by 9 inches. That was the size of our image, and when we converted it to a PDF, the PDF size matches the image size. If we were to open a PDF that was oriented in portrait mode, such as an 8.5 by 11, or in this case, a 9 inch by a 16 inch page, then review would open in scrolling pages mode, which is this option right here. It forces our mouse wheel to scroll down and up instead of, if I switch back to one full page mode, zooming in and out with the mouse wheel. So just wanted to let you guys know so that you can switch between it very easily when you open up an image that's in portrait mode. Let's say that we wanted to crop this image and use the cropped image as a background. All we need to do is firstly, we'll get rid of this markup. Then we'll use the snapshot tool, which is found under the edit dropdown. And here's snapshot or we can use it in our shortcuts right here. And all I need to do now is make a nice border around my image. So I'm gonna start here on the bottom right. I can have a little bit of white space since I'll be able to crop more white space in our program of choice. So that box should do. I'm gonna hold Control and press C to copy. Then I'm gonna open Paint and let's do Control V to paste. Now that we're in Paint, I want to press the Escape key because I'm currently selecting the image, which I could resize, but I don't want to. I want to leave it at its original quality and size. And then all I need to do is grab this grip right down here, and I can crop it even further to the left a little bit and a little bit more on the y-axis as well. And now the image is sufficiently cropped, so I can save this image. I'm going to call it cropped at the end, so I'll just type underscore cropped and press save. And now the image is ready, so I can go back to review. I can go to File and Open. I can find the cropped image, which I need to make sure I'm searching for, so I'm going to change that to All Images. And let's make sure, yep, this is the one. We'll click on Open. And here is our brand new cropped image that we can use and place markups on top of. Let's make sure that we do a File, Save As, and we'll call this underscore converted at the end, just so we know that it's been cropped and converted from the original image. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on converting an image into a PDF. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.